Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingileli. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be answering a grade 9 natural sciences June question paper. So obviously the question paper is very long. I think it's, uh, it's out of 100 marks. So I will record um, three videos for this particular question paper. So I will record the first video, which is this one which will be based on section A, which is multiple choice questions, terminology, match column one and column two. Then um, section B, which will be on life and living, that's the strength. So that will be cells um, and the digestive system, human digestive system and the human reproductive system. There's also the respiratory system. That's the second part or that's, that will be the second video. Then the third video will be on section C, which is meta um, and materials. There we are going to be answering questions based on the periodic table of elements. We'll look at non-metals with oxygen. There's also acids, bases and pH values. We'll also look at a question um of um reaction of acids and bases so it's a very nice question paper and we are going to cover every little marking guideline detail i will be addressing um typical mistakes to avoid uh, making when you're answering a long question paper i will be addressing a number of things uh, also looking at rules that you need to follow when you're drawing um graphs, certain rules you need to follow when you are drawing biological diagrams, so forth and so on. Let us not waste any more time, guys. Let us get straight into it. Please remember to like this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, share the link with your classmates and your schoolmates. Um, please, please, please. And also, please, guys, leave your comments on the comment section. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you thought um, it was helpful. If you feel like it helped you prepare for your next test or exam, please kindly let me know. Also, if you have suggestions about the topics that you would like me to cover, topic tests, the worksheets that you'd like me to answer. Um, also, if you went through a certain question paper and you felt like you struggled answering that question paper, feel free to email it to me. Then I can record a video answering that question paper and upload it for you. All right, we have our multiple choice questions. Obviously, we know with multiple choice questions, you are given about four options as possible answers, um, but you need to choose the correct option. Uh, let me choose a nice color. Um, okay, red. Red it is. Um, so you are given four possible answers or options. You need to choose the most correct one by circling the answer or placing a cross over the correct label so i think for this particular video i will just be circling the answer all right so the first question 1.1 which one of the following organelles is found which one of the following organelles is found in both plants and animal cells okay is it the cell wall definitely not the cell wall definitely not the chloroplast definitely not a large vacuum cell wall uh, we find it in plant cells only, same with chloroplast, we find in plant cells only, same with the large vacuole, we find it in plant cells only. We do find vacuoles in animal cells, however, the vacuoles are small. So you normally find few small vacuoles and sometimes they may be absent. So the correct answer here is C. The cell membrane is the only correct option that is found in both plant and animal cells. Then we go to 1.2, the part of the excretory system. So we are talking about the part of the excretory system where urine is stored before it is excreted. Now, I'm underlining these words because I need to get to understand the statement so that I understand what my question is about. So here we are talking about a part, and this part we are finding it in the excretory system where urine is stored before it is excreted. So I think the correct answer here is D. So we know that urine is stored in the bladder um, before it is excreted out of our body and not in the kidney, not in the ureta and not in the urethra. 1.3, the elements that lie to the left of the zigzag line 
on the periodic table 1.3 our answer would be the metals okay not the gases and not um, non-metals or semi-metals 1.4 the removal of metabolic waste the removal of metabolic waste products such as urine sweat and carbon dioxide from the body is called what 1.4 that is obviously excretion, excrete. To excrete is to remove. We are removing waste products. Definitely not the other option. Absorption, exhalation, digestion, those options are obviously incorrect. Remember, guys, you're more than welcome to pause the video and attempt to answer these questions yourself. So you can more you can you are more than welcome. <laughs> to pause the video and attempt to answer the questions before I say out the answers. Okay, 1.5. We are talking about a pH meter or a pH scale here. A pH um, scale detects 3.06 for a substance. The substance is what? Is it an acid, a base, neutral, or is it an ion? For 1.5, our answer will be A. It is an acid that is below seven okay um 1.6 the prefix in die in die atomic atoms means what is it one two three or four ah this one has a giveaway guys 1.6 die means two okay easy peasy easy peasy easy peasy stuff 1.7, which process is shown in the diagram above? Which process is shown, or not above, uh, below? Which process is shown in the diagram below? Um, let us see, what are we having here? This is obviously an ova, an egg. What we are seeing here are sperm cells that are fertilizing this egg obviously only one sperm cell will fertilize the egg and it looks like it's this sperm cell that is managed to fertilize the egg so obviously this process is showing the process that we're seeing here in the diagram is fertilization fertilization all right uh not gestation um because remember that's the period of pregnancy Ovulation, this is when um, an egg gets released out of the ovary. Implantation, this is when the blastocyst, I'm not sure in infant grade 9, you guys talk about blastocyst. This is when the blastocyst gets implanted in the uterine wall to confirm pregnancy. Uh, 1.8, select the letter of the diagram where digestion and absorption take place. So select the letter of the diagram where both these processes basically take place. Is it A, B, C, or D? Let us see. <laughs> let us see. Okay. <laughs> uh, let us see. Uh, digestion and absorption. So these are lungs. Definitely that's out. Um, these are also lungs. Definitely that's out. I can't really see here what they're showing us, but I can confirm that with diagram C, digestion will take place in the stomach um, and absorption will take place in the small intestine. Um, so that is diagram C. So I can't really see <laughs> what is happening in diagram A. Um, but I think the correct one would be diagram C. Stomach will, will have obviously digestion there of food. In the small intestine will mainly have absorption, but there is also digestion taking place in the small intestine, guys. Um, so yeah, 1.8, the correct answer is definitely C. Then let us go to terminology. That is our question two. Give the correct scientific term for each of the following descriptions. Write only the term in the spaces provided. Okay, the first one, 2.1, the organelle in a cell that carries hereditary information, that carries DNA. That is the nucleus. Remember, you can pause the video, guys, and attempt to answer these terminology questions. 
then you play the video to obviously hear me discussing the answers so nucleus um, the place where the embryo develops and grows um, that's in the female reproductive system that is the uterus so the baby does not grow in the stomach it grows in the uterus um, that's the correct answer womb would also be correct but i think the most correct terminology is uterus the blood that is rich in oxygen and nutrients that is oxygenated blood oxygenated blood i think if you also say oxygen rich blood that would also be correct the arrangement 2.4 the arrangement of elements according to their properties in an organized pattern ah that is the periodic table periodic what am i doing periodic table of elements all right guys please remember to comment on this video i do definitely definitely need your comments uh please comment on this video let me know if this video is helpful let me know if you are feeling like you're getting more prepared for your test or an exam please kindly let me know in the comment section and also suggest specific question papers that you would like me to answer and i will gladly uh, record a video for you and upload 2.5 the monthly breakdown and discharge of the uterus lining um that is menstruation menstruation and not period don't write period and don't write blood the breakdown that monthly breakdown and discharge of the uterus lining is menstruation a compound that is formed when non-metal burns in oxygen we know that compound will be a non-metal oxide all right uh let's move to question three matching items question three matching items choose an item from column b that matches a statement in column a write only the letter a to j next to the question number 3.1 to 3.6 in the space provided all right remember you can pause the video guys and attempt to answer uh let's see 3.1 so a piece of glass that is specially curved to produce an enlarged image of an object uh, let's see i think it's a magnifying lens magnify enlarge an object so that is f ensuring so we've used f let us cross it out ensuring that the total number and type of atoms of the reactants is the same as the product we are balancing the chemical equation so that is h balancing definitely blood vessels transporting blood away 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 from the heart away a away a arteries so the a ha how even arteries is, is option a okay away from the heart um the process 3.4 the process in which plants use chlorophyll to convert radiant energy into sugar photosynthesis that is b um the process okay now we've answered that chemical substances that make food last longer and or add flavor uh, g additives okay that's g red brownish solid formed uh, by the reaction of iron and oxygen in the presence of water a red brownish solid that is formed by the reaction of iron and oxygen in the presence of water definitely e all right definitely e okay that was easy peasy um total for section a 20 marks all right guys um Please remember to like this video, comment down below, let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was helpful, 
Um, and also, if you have specific question papers that you would like me to answer, please let me know. So this is the end of our part one of this particular question paper. Um, you can uh, watch part two for section B. So in section B, there's a number of topics. Life and living, which is basically the cells, the reproductive system, the digestive system, and the excretory system. So yeah, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this link with your classmates and your schoolmates. All the best for your test and exam, guys.